Hey, hey, you guys, it's Dee Dee Crow with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube, and this is a special case. This is Bentley, he's a new client. Mom found me because she drives by my salon all the time. And she decided to call me after she had gone to, <laughs> you like my mask, you guys? I didn't think you could focus, so I put it on. But okay, let's just, let's just get serious. So mom decided to use me, because, and we talked on the phone a couple weeks ago when she made her appointment. This is Maltese. He's eight years old, and look, he's still kind of hyper. Um, it's just, it, and I'm, I already have a soft heart for this client, and I've never like met her or anything like that. So the pet, and I'm gonna try to talk fast, but you know me, I like to just tell stories. So the pet parent dropped her dog off at a local groomer here in Fort Worth, Texas, near Fort Worth, Texas, and I know, I know, man. Really pisses me off, you guys. Sorry. Um, can't control my thoughts right now. So she drops, she's like, um, drops the dog off and gives it a few hours and kind of asks, she kind of asks maybe like how long it'll take and they're like, not that long. So she, a few hours later, she, uh, I think she might have called once in there. Is my dog done yet? You know, a couple hours in. Four hours in to the grooming session, she goes to the salon and she's like, okay, I'm here. You know, it's been four hours, just uh, my dog's older, I'll be outside. Uh, is not being rude or anything, probably just checking, just concerned, you know, hey, my dog's here, be, is he done yet? No, he's not done yet, okay. She waited outside, she waited at home for four hours and then she waited the last four hours outside in her car checking she didn't want to be too irritating but she was checking she would go in and check twice I think she said and I might have her reiterate I might have her reiterate on the YouTube but I'm not sure if I'll do that I don't want to put her in any danger um, but she goes at eight hours the dog was there eight hours at the groomer with other dogs I'm sure uh, in a cage not walked she actually said that as soon as she got him and went outside, she knew that he had, not that you can walk, okay, you guys, first of all, there's a liability if I walk your dog, especially if he gets out of my control and runs into the street and gets hit, so a business has to have liability there, okay, let's just make that clear, anybody, if you let someone pet sit your, at your house and they steal everything, there's a liability, okay, um, but eight hours in, she finally goes, and you know what, he's not done yet, just let me have them. They didn't do any grooming. They didn't bathe them. I don't know what they did for eight hours, but they didn't groom them. Okay. And she told me they didn't groom them. And now she left there upset because he's in there eight hours. He had to pee like it was so bad. You could see like, Oh gosh, I got to pee bad. And, uh, he's older, you know? So she found me, uh, she drove by, she called, she went on my Googles and read, and if you guys are going to hate on me and go leave me Google reviews that you never even came in, which has happened, I just think you, I have so much disrespect for you. you leave, leave real reviews, okay? But she found me on Google. She also found my YouTube channel. Um, don't go leave a review that you didn't come in here and because you don't like me. Don't do it. It's just It's bad business and bad karma and you're bad people if that's what you're going to do. Don't do that. The other thing is don't have a dog in your facility for eight hours you guys come on and it, it, pick and choose your eight hour dogs you want to have a pup not i won't even do a puppy I, I would never do any dog like that that's just me but i understand some businesses out there that's how you guys function i would say if your business has less than one groomer like one groomer or less you don't don't schedule if you have one one dog don't schedule seven dogs in the morning at 7 a.m and take 12 hours to get them out don't do that to the dog i challenge you to change it okay dogs are uh, three or four hours in, maybe I can understand that. You got five dogs coming in in the seven. You got five dogs coming in at ten. You know, and you have a couple dogs that are like really hard to do, or they need to be cage dried. However, you guys run your business. I'm not telling you to run it like mine. We're different. We're different groomers. We're different businesses. But uh, I really feel for the client. Eight hours in, and she went in and checked. He didn't get groomed. He didn't get bathed. So that really hurts my heart that the dog had to go through that and then he had to pee really bad things like that actually end up flaring up kidney disease or 
um, bladder infections or things like that we don't think about but just having to, if you're a really old dog depending on your system depending on your body your the dog's body's system you might be all of a sudden it's like wow man he's done that so many times now that he has you know bladder stones I don't know it's you know what I'm saying um, just some ideas out there for you guys well anyways we're gonna get down to grooming mom and I discussed the haircut she's like really short I love the summer cut but I, I really want to get him done. You know what I mean? I was like, girl, get here. If you want to sit and wait for him in the lobby, sit and wait. Just no cell phone. Don't go in and out. Just stay put so that he doesn't get too excited because he already is. Or if you want to wait in the car, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to wave you in. I am only one groomer here. So other businesses can't function like that. If you need a situation like that, look for that groomer that is willing to function like that for you. Okay? I'm not going to down talk any other groomers, how they run their businesses, but if that's how they're running their business and it doesn't work for you, you we wish that it would be different, but it may not be, okay? So we cannot just, if you don't like cereal, go eat oatmeal, okay? If you don't like how they're functioning, go to this one. Find someone that's, and be clear on the phone what you want, and you will find eventually someone that can help you. But you know eight hours I'm, I, mom moved away from that she's like okay we've been going there a while and I'm not gonna we're not going there anymore okay so you have to make the judgment call on that and it's it's real it's something you need to decide how to handle um, whoo let's get to work 10 10 10 I'm gonna do a seven down all over summer cut 10 down might be a little too short we'll see nice tight real cute pup teddy bear head real short tighten everything up because there's some tangles little light tangles nothing matted here nothing really matted but mom was like oh when he's got a short summer cut he's like ah, I feel great and I was like please go comment on your YouTube video when I get done because they do y'all don't believe shaving some of these dogs how they feel but they are like they'll be like this oh gosh I'm so exhausted this is hair is just killing me and all of a sudden they're like woo you know <laughs> yeah we're gonna get a haircut okay they feel great so try it. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. All right, let's get to work. Gosh, poor guy. Oh, you don't, you don't, she, no aggression as far as I know, nothing like that. So here we go, we'll get started. Let's do a, start with the seven, down. All right, here we go. I really wanna do a before and after picture. I'm kinda of getting lazy on it since I got the camera working on the camera so much. Really go from that angle then maybe. Okay. Hey. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> so I was going to stand him up, but I'll just get everything I can while he's sitting. Oh gosh, so great that's not matted, man. She actually watched some of my videos and she's like, wow, you know? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I felt confident. She, she already felt, I don't know what it is with the videos. Maybe it's just the fact that there are videos out there for you to see what I do. Um, but it actually gave her, like, I know, I know it does a lot of people because I get a lot of emails. You can't fake, uh, I guess I can't fake who I am, you know? And you guys, if you feel the truth through the camera, you're gonna be like, I, I believe this girl. and. She's real, you know, and uh, maybe that's that's what helps you know you can trust my word. Uh, if you call me, I'm gonna be real with you. You know, maybe that's what it is, but I do. Get, I get, I actually can tell. I get it all the time. Um, the emails of Didi, you know, I don't know what to do here. What do you think? Or I want your opinion and I value it. You know, things like that. And so she saw the videos, and that immediately gave her. She immediately seemed to trust me. You know what I mean? I'm very honored.
Well, we're still intact back there, so make sure you be careful with that. I'm gonna go through and shave that baby out. Come on, man. I'm gonna get that dog upstairs under you. What are you up to? Oh, you should put it all in a bucket. Put it all in a bucket. Put it out all, all, all on the floor. What am I doing, Dee Dee? Get the broom. Okay, remember I told you guys I have two water bottles. One's now just water. And I'm actually going to do a demo water uh, water bottle, my favorite spray bottle. This is this is a the the stuff. Excuse me. I'm going to say the missing link. <laughs> um, because there's a little bit of static. See, he's going to move around, which is fine. We always see this, don't we? But it takes a couple seconds for us to go and reposition the dog up stand. But I'm going to go ahead and move in. Actually, no, I'm going to do a little bit more with my tin here. Okay, stay there. I know, what's that for? Don't get mad at me. The grunting stuff. Let's see. Don't get mad. Yeah, we got big knot in the tail though, so we're gonna take that down a little. I like to take my, <laughs> hold that jaw. It's like, here's your neck where the collar hangs, go uh, just above that. Sometimes even right, just right behind the chin. Cause you're not gonna see that line anyway. And you know all that hair has gotta come out. So look at this puffness, woo. Okay, we're gonna take all that down. And I use a 10 on the guards only, that's just me. I, I don't need a bunch of 30s and 15s, I don't use them anywhere else, so I just use the 10. So I've got my uh, two guard, and I'm literally gonna go reverse here. We're gonna take all this down. I can shorten everything up, she said. So separate that ear here. We're gonna take that down too. Some of y'all are asking about the stains here. Wash your dog's face every day. And do that for over a year, and then, and then let me know what happens. Just water in a towel. And if you wanna get that eye solution, the eye wash, you could probably do that too and see. If that helps um, the type of uh, leakage the eye has. This is not on a veterinarian standpoint. This is just to kind of fix the stainage area. You see? You see? I know. I know. We have to come down. You see? Good. Good. Straight down there. You can fix all this under the chin thing here up after. We're going to do that going reverse. You see? So this is all, I'm actually going to come straight down, know where your flap's at, we got 
Oh yeah, we got some serious mats there. Okay, we're gonna have to cut some of the mats out. Okay. I know that I could feel like there was no skin there, so I went ahead and took that down. You're gonna look so cute when I get done with you. Yes, you are. You're gonna look so cute. Changing my ten blade now. You see your eyeballs? Careful. Got a mat right there. I'm gonna take that out. I like to clean out the tear stains with my ten. Pop, 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 pop. Pick your words. Pick your. Uh, oh, hold on. I see there's a little knot in there, that's why. So there's a mat here. So that's just going to come straight out like that. And we want to wash that ear flap, just like we did with that pink head uh, dog. Look, I have, I have it in my head. Okay, so that's what we got there. Let me save that. Another one in here. This is too much to, for me, I'm not going to demat that. I'm going to go short anyway. I'm just going to get it out of there. Okay. Let's save that. I always have the saving stuff so I can say, this is why we went short on the ear. I know I already had permission to go short, but just, this is what I do. I guess I just remember people when I first started grooming, they'd be like, you sh I remember, oh yeah, yeah. They were like, you shaved my dog's tail. And I was like, man, if you saw it, you probably would have been like, yeah, thank gosh you saved it. But the lady got so upset and I had no proof. And I was like, I'll never do that again. I'm gonna always have some kind of proof. Up. Nice tunneled out tummy and everything. Oh yeah. Careful on that. I'm actually gonna recommend she get him neutered. Uh, we'll talk about it. I had one veterinarian tell me that, er and I believe it because I've seen it, if a dog is still intact while they're seniors, they will definitely get cancer of some form. Like it's very um, likely they'll get cancer. But even females, if they're still intact and they're much older. See, here we go. Keeping that. That's the tail. So I'm going to, I got that out and then we're going to come back and work how we want the tail to look. You know what I mean? And we're doing short anyway, so thank goodness. your blade. The, uh, I don't think I've talked about this too much, but the ceramic, I know, right? Let me see your armpit. The ceramic is going to get cool less fast. What? Cool less fast. <laughs> okay, let me start over. The ceramic does not get hot as fast as the other ultra edge blades, okay? Because this is a plastic or, you know, like glass plastic. It's ceramic. Excuse me. It's a ceramic blade. This blade is replaceable. Don't, don't worry about losing this blade. But you have non-metal rubbing against metal. So that's why it doesn't get as fast. Hot as fast. But 
on a ceramic, you're gonna, a blade sharpener said, you're about gonna sharpen this six times or less before that blade just needs to be replaced. So your ultra edge, metal to metal, you're gonna, re I have some of mine that I've been still sharpening for my whole career so far. So that's the downfall. You're gonna replace this edge here six times into sharpening. Or don't, just always get a new one. It's up to you. Let me know if you need a new one. Okay, what are we doing with your ear now, man? I'm actually gonna come back with the four guard on the ear. I'm gonna try not to take off too much on the ears. I'm gonna take them short, but not like to the, to the leather. And all, all this we're gonna clean up once we go point tip, which is we're gonna take it all the way to the tip, but not all the way to the skin, right? And right here around it, I'm gonna just go like that. So I get your ear shears out, this, and I sell these as well. I love these. I use them on every every dog, man. Okay, let me see. So I'm gonna come to the leather here. Excuse me. Point tip to the tip of the ear. Oh, what's he doing out there? He's restocking stuff. Focus, focus on me. Take all that, just take that up right there, why not? your cute face oh yeah oh yeah look at your face you look like a man now yes you do you look so mature you see we're gonna fix some of this after the bath that stuff going in the mouth not to go in the mouth so get it as uh, short as you can if you don't feel safe doing it with the long eight and a half scissors use your clippers if you don't have uh, clippers or shears like that use your thinning shears if you don't have thinning shears definitely use your clippers use a five guard see all that getting in the mouth is just rotting teeth let's look at the teeth some five build up in there yeah will really help that stuff not being in his mouth. Yeah, look at your teethies. Hmm? We'll clean that up a bit more later. What are you doing? Let me get this down here. You so happy? I like it if you're happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah, let me see. Let me get this burr out. Burrs will brush right out. No, no, no. Straight down. Go this side then. This side. Let me see. Just pull that out. If you have any burrs in the dog, they will brush right out. So don't worry about picking them out one by one. Just brush the dog with a good bristle brush.
catch that squatting angle where you can kind of see some of the flurries hanging around the wrong way. Be careful though, watch your skin flaps. I do smell a little like that old breath, so I'm going to recommend the Pets Life Gel. We'll talk about that when uh, she comes back. for me. I'm going to do the pad, so I'm just going to have it standing up here. Give him some, let me see, let me see, stay there, move your tail. Are you okay? Can I see? Don't get mad. Oh yeah, hold on a second. Y'all know what I'm thinking. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I didn't do it, but we're gonna get through this together, okay? Come here. Okay, we're gonna get through it together and then you're gonna be all right, okay? So I'm actually gonna do a, I'm gonna move this. In case he becomes a real animal. I'm gonna hold him under arm. So, hey, 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 hey. Stop stressing yourself out. I'm not that, I didn't do it to you. I'm not that person. Nope. Okay. Okay, you're all right. David, stop doing that over there. Don't stop making so much noise. No. No. You have to calm down. Calm down. Okay? Or we'll lay down. I'll lay you down and we'll do it. Let me see. Uh uh. Then we're gonna use Okay. Hopefully, those don't go flying away. Rest, rest, you're okay. I got you now. Whatever happened before, not happening here, okay? Okay? You're okay. I know you're worried. No, no, we're not gonna fight. No, no. Good boy, not fighting. Good boy. I know. Don't fight me. I'm just shaving the pads. Don't get mad. Get mad, man. You're good. See, good boy. Good boy. Don't don't startle me now. Good boy. Oh yeah. We're getting all that stuff out of there. Yes, we are. Let me see. Am I able to get back here and get this foot or what? Huh? Can you give me this foot? Good 
boy. Good boy. I know you might not like this part, okay? You just bear with me, huh? You just bear with me, okay? Look at these nails. Look at those nails, man. They are long. Let me see. Don't get, yeah. I know you want to get up. Don't get up yet, okay? Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't do it. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Look at those nails. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Good boy. I got you here. I got it. Yes, I do. Good boy. Good boy. See, I didn't get any vein. See? No. No vein at all. Mm-hmm. Good boy. Yeah, see, I told you I got you. I told you I got you, man. Really close, though. There's so I can see what's going on. Hmm. Right at the vein. Hmm. Can I get that one? No, no, can't get it some more. Okay, we won't. We won't get it no more. Okay, you're going to have to let me come out to the back. Don't get mad. Let me have this hand now. Let me see. Can I see? No, don't get up yet. Don't get up. No, 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 Can't get up yet. No, 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 no. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on, buddy. Put your leg up there. I know you're trying to kick off. Good boy. Good boy. I know it. I know. I can't be done yet. Can't be done yet. You're in good hands. You're in good hands, buddy. Let me see this one. Let me see this one. Watch your eyeballs here. There's not a lot to take off on those. Which probably what freaks them out is someone took too much at some point. Okay, we didn't make it on that one, but okay. Oh, good boy. Now that stupid thing can come off. Yes, it's out of yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. We're gonna make some stride, okay? We're gonna make some stride. Yeah. Okay, you go to the bath. And we'll talk afterwards? Hmm? Yeah? Oh, you did good. You did so good. Yes, you did. All right, we'll be back. All right, here we go. We're going to finish up Bentley. Seven down again. We actually have the whitening shampoo. We sell the whitening shampoo, the bright white with pet silk. You're welcome to give it a try if you have a white dog. But we did it on him. David said he let it sit even to help him, you know, capture that whiteness. And honestly, I really don't see a huge impact when you spend, uh, if, you, if you have to spend extra money. If you don't have to spend extra money, it's the same as regular shampoo, do it. If you're going to go spend a lot of money on whitening shampoo, I really, if you just have a really good shampoo, you'll see the same results in my opinion. Huh? He's never been here before. David, no, what are you talking about? Have you used the shampoo before? Which one? The bright white. We haven't. It's like water. It comes out like water. It's not thick. The bright white red. pet silk? Yeah, it's not thick. It's the like pet water. silk bright white? Interesting. I've used a lot of other whitening shampoos, and honestly, I, I'll sell it. If you, if you think you believe that it'll make your dog whiter, I have it because it's supposed to, but it's called that. If you just have a good shampoo, I have seen the same results, you know. Boy, he likes to sit down, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. We love to sit down, man. That's why I made this thing. Don't worry. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to get it like this. 
and put you right up there. We're not messing with your feet no more, man. We're all done with that. Spray bottle, leave in conditioner. You can find that on my website. David already brushed his tail for me while I was at Intermedium. I'm going to trim this proportional to the body. Make sure it's not down in his private area where he's going to poop later. Alright. Nice, soft. Man, that stuff is just so soft. You don't even know it's like silk with that conditioner. Okay. Get your ears here. Let's tighten up these ears a little bit. Yeah, are you wagging your tail? Okay, easy. Watch your flaps there. Sometimes it's hanging out from the inside. It's like a soft love pack. It's not a love pack, man. Yeah, it's a soft love pack. What's he doing out there? <laughs> What's he doing out there, huh? So I love the fact that before we did this, you could not see the ears move around. Hey, baby. <laughs> Listen to this. Right? So you can see now with the ears not having all that hair weighing the ear down, you actually can see the character of the dog almost talking to you with the ear. And I just I adore that. So that's why I like short ears. But if they give permission to make it cute, that's, that's my idea of like cute. Because it's not only the way it looks, it's actually also the way the pet interacts with you, right? So right now he's like, oh, what are you doing? You know, he's kind of telling me how he's feeling through his ears here. Mom's outside. I just saw her. I walked out. Trina with her rat terrier toenail trim, and there was Mama out in the car. Inverted V here. Boop, 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 boop. Use your scaredy cut if you have that already. Boop, boop, boop. Look over here. I'm actually getting my eight and a half so I can do longer strides. I'm going to get my comb. See, all that eye stain is taken out now. So you can use a scaredy cat if you're really careful. The Pro Ion Andis, those are just real small 
clippers are kind of one-time use as far as you're going to use them until they need to be sharpened and then you're going to replace them but i mean they're 40 bucks about 40 bucks so they're cheap and they'll last you for a good amount of time then you get another one or if you want to go into that really good clipper you're going to spend at least 150 and go up from there the ones i have that i use the andis five speeds we're talking 200 and something so get those and you can clean out your faces like this you know it's worth it The hair is growing back and forth there, so it's kind of popping out. Kind of see that. He has a little sagginess to his eyelids, so it's interesting. Some dogs have and some dogs don't. Come under the, move your head down so you can see under the chin. And then look through the chin, look through and look at the wall and see what's in the way. And you know how he keeps looking down? Well, tighten this up go a little higher, just so you can, yeah, I'm sorry, thank you. So you can work around the, it's too much if you're both looking down. Right now I have my a bubble tip ones. You guys see, I rarely have to use my blending and thinning shears. I don't, I don't necessarily have to. I can. If you've been watching a long time, you know I don't like all that little hair going in the eyes, so I try to stay away from that. You can easily cut the skin on the mouth here too, but you can use your, your blending shear to kind of get in there to do that. I'm actually not, I'm gonna get, use my clippers. So let me get my eight and a half. We're gonna come around and finish the feet. I guess I would need to get my foot brush. I'm not trying to stay here very long, just clean it up. Because he did not like his feet messed with, so it's enough for one day. Just tidy up and be done. Don't keep going and trying to make it all perfect. He hated the feet done, so one thing at a time. I know the tickles. I don't know, I'm barely touching you. See how the hair grows backwards here? It's a very common chest area. This one lady I was grooming at her house, she goes, Oh, Dee Dee cut your chest too short. And I said, Actually, no, the hair grows the opposite direction. So when you come down with the blade, it does. It takes the same length off, it's just the hair is going the opposite direction. Gotta stand up. I'm gonna use this now. Get the dog up stand under there. Okay, hold on. Move it down. Up. I need you to stay stood up for a few minutes here so I can finish what we need to do.
Dave, will you please do an after picture for me? Okay, you want to do this angle like that? Bentley. There, oh. nice. Thank you. I'm going to do a couple touch up stuff here. So the this it's called liquid silk serum. It's a rainforest smell, so you can use it as a replacement for the cologne. You can upcharge it, but when you use something, oh it's so soft. You just it's like oh it's so soft. It's just like the other stuff, the stuff, but it's gonna have that fragrance in it. And Jean with the two papillons was like, oh Dee Dee, they're so soft with that. What, what's your reaction? So soft. <laughs> and I'm trying it out. I remember using it a long time ago somewhere I worked. They don't do it anymore. They, it's too expensive for them to do it. But um, such good stuff. Um, such a small little, a little, you know, like do something extra. And then you can buy one or two and then resell it to the client so they can do it at home during brushing just kind of silky smooth it and then brush or vice versa same thing with your if you're a business you should be reselling one to two things until you can actually bring up bring up your stock level if you're buying if you buy in bulk with us you get a discount so you got to call and make and those rates have to be discussed separately so if you're a business you should use my t techniques of reselling why why not resell the same stuff you use because well, quite frankly, your pet parent, your pet parent still needs shampoo, you know. So why not help them have it? The same stuff you're going to use. If you're just starting out your business, you might want to just do the upsell for the shampoo until you start profiting and gain, like, so you can pay for the shampoo, and then you go, okay, everyone gets the same shampoo. That might be an idea. <laughs> oh, you did so good. You did so good. Yeah, you did. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Are you kissing me? You did so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes, I am so happy. I'm so happy we got through your nails. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> You're on video. What do you think? He looks so cute. He looks he adorable. Do you like his face and stuff? I do. Yay. All right, awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, we're good to go. I'm gonna ask you that you take him outside. I think he needs to go outside. Real quick, mom, are you happy? Yes, I'm super happy. He looks so cute. Awesome. So um, I'm actually going to point the camera really to me. And uh, I wanted to say, mom, you know, really, it was like eight hours, right? Eight hours. Eight hours. Yes. No, no grooming was done. No. And uh, just for, for her protection, just looking at me. Okay, if you guys want to get mad at somebody, you can get mad at me. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so eight hours. She's waiting for her dog. And it was just really pent my heart up. So. Mm -hmm. Today, how long were? Um, Less than an hour? Yeah. Less than yeah, an hour. Woo! Which is great. Woo! Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Okay. Yes. Um, you're going to see the video later. Okay. His nails, my opinion, someone who is doing his nails have always quicked them. Okay. And um, it's hard to watch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, how I, you'll be like, oh, wow, I can't believe she handled it like that. Yeah. I think that's what, that's what you'll see and feel. Okay. I didn't watch it, but that's what I think you're going to see and feel. Okay. It's a little longer process. Okay, but what I what I would say is, here, uh, what I would say is the technique you see me on the laydown, mm -hmm. 
I want you to do that at home. Okay. You put a ta uh, being up above the ground is mm -hmm. going to be better for him because he's so little. Okay. And you can kind of mimic the exact thing that I do. Okay. Okay. And I'm telling her this because a, a, even a little a little old man, about an 80 year old man, brought a lab in. Mm -hmm. He had rescued this lab. Yeah. Had to do the nail trim. He left bloody. That dog scratched him oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him exactly what to do, mm -hmm. a bigger lab than him, okay? Yeah, yeah. And he did, he did it every day for 30 days. And the next time he came in, mm -hmm. he said down, the dog got down, yeah. this is a big dog. Yeah. The dog, he's a lay down, the dog laid down, and then he laid on the dog, oh, the yeah. same way I'm telling you to do this, okay? okay? You don't have to lay like you, I did, because I was doing stuff, but you yeah. just need to get him down, and then you want to just touch him and feel him. You don't want him to get up okay. until you say, up, let's uh, go. Okay. Here's a treat. And give him some love and good okay. job. Okay. And so you do this little exercise for us. Okay. And it's really for him so that he, when he comes in and I do it, he's like, I trust her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I bet in about four to six months, mm -hmm. just nail trimming alone. Okay. The nail, it, we will be in a different place. Okay. Cool. So watch the video and just you go repeat, pause, repeat, pause, and really go, what, what arm was that? You know, yeah. really look at how I rolled him down, okay. laid on him, mm -hmm. and then held both arms. And, and you'll see, there's a time where I have to make him rest first. Yeah. Rest. Stop trying to fight me and get up and all yeah. that before I can actually do the nails because okay. it, something happened. I didn't do it. I, I can't fix it right then. Yeah. But you can help me fix it. And then when he comes in, someone who's not quicking the nail, mm -hmm. you guys out there, if you're still quicking the nail and you're trying to get the dog to do what you, it's just too much. Yeah. You need to find someone that cannot quick the nail, can do the nail properly. And then what mom is going to do, the hold down will actually work. Okay. But if you're out there and you're t there's a few of you out there doing this and you wrote me about it. If you have a dog that you personally keep quicking and then you want someone to hold the dog so you can continue quicking, then that's where your problem is going to be. That dog is going to need a muzzle, need a cone, and he's going to be like, because it's so painful mm -hmm. to hit the vein over yeah. and over and over. It's okay to hit it once a year, a couple times a year if you guys don't know what you're doing. But if you do it every time and that dog is now a maniac, you've really created the maniac okay so mom is not going to do the nail trimming she's yeah. going to try to re rehabilitate yeah. him yeah and that's going to be through love and trust and you dominating him in a okay. position that's all mm -hmm. that is yeah okay so thanks a lot for finding me yeah of course. and i appreciate her so much and we'll be back